Welcome to the next section of exploring search. In this section, we'll be looking at how to do search. What are the basic requirements of implementing a search? We'll be implementing a basic Digicastra's algorithm. And then we'll be moving on to understand what heuristics is and how we can use heuristics onto our search algorithms and improve the accuracy of the search results. So let's start with search. What is search? So here we look at how, what search is. We'll try to understand what search is. So if we look at a search algorithm and if we want to apply search onto any problem, we need actually four inputs. We call it a state space. The four inputs that we need are the set of implicitly given states, the, all the states that might be explored in a search process. We denote it with a capital S and a start symbol S. That means the starting point where the search will start and the state transition operators from how a search should proceed from one node to other node, how a search should proceed. What are the transitions that are available to the search? This is an exhaustive list. So the state transition operator keeps track of these exhaustive lists and we need the goal node to the point where the search should end. We do this because we want a minimum cost transaction for a goal state because we want a sequence of transitions to a minimum cost goal because we want minimum cost transaction for a minimum cost goal. So let's say I have this algorithm. I initialize it and what I do is I create a a data structure called open and I put my start state into this data structure S and I create one more data structure as close which is empty. All the states that I'll be exploring I'll be taking them out from open and I'll be putting them in close and I set the cost of initial start state as zero. So this cost will calculate the cost incurred from traveling from start state to the current state. So the cost of traveling from start state to start state is zero. So that's why we have set it to zero. Next, we'll go to step two and we'll see if our open is empty, then we'll terminate with failure. But since our open is not empty because we have S in our start state, so we'll not terminate with failure. Next is select state where we'll select the minimum cost successor and we'll take it from open and put it in close. In the next step, we'll terminate. If our g n belongs to d, then we'll terminate with success. Next, if our n does not belong to g, then we need to expand g using our state transition operators. And if it is a new node, if we have not explored it, that means it is not available either in open or close, then we'll simply calculate the cost of this new successor m. And we'll do this by calculating the cost of that per its predecessor plus the edge cost of traveling from n to m and we'll put it in open. If it is part of open and close, then we'll check which one is the minimum cost. The current cost is minimum or the previous cost. The actual cost we had in the previous iteration is minimum and we'll keep that cost. If our M gets decreased and our M belongs to close, then we'll bring it back to open and we'll keep on doing this till our open is not empty or our N does not belong to G. So let's say I have this example. I have th these 12 different nodes. So these are the set of implicitly nodes given to me. I have a start symbol S and I have a goal state G and all the arrows. These are the straight transition operators that we have. So let's try and run this and check whether our algorithm is working or not. We start with step number one. Step number one says open insert our start state into open. So as our start state is one and we put it in open and we set its close cost to zero. And we take another data structure close and we put nothing over there. So it is empty. Step number two says, if your open belongs to empty, then terminate with failure. Since our open is not empty, we cannot terminate with failure. So what we'll do, we'll select a new N. Let's say I have N and N is right now one. I take this in and I take it out and I put it in close. Next step says if your n belongs to G then terminate with failure. So my n does not belong to C so I cannot terminate with failure. So I'll expand. On expansion of 1 we get 2 and 5. So we put 2 in our data structure in our open and we calculate the cost of 2. Cost of 2 is its predecessor's cost which is 0 and the edge cost which is 2. So 0 plus 2 is 2 and 5 comes in with the cost 1. Next we'll go to step 2. Step 2 says if your open is empty then terminate with failure. We cannot do that so we'll select. This time we'll select the minimum cost successor and we have 5 as a minimum cost successor. So we'll add it to close and we'll make it our new n. 
since next step says if your n belongs to g then terminate with success we cannot terminate with success because our n does not belong to g our g is 12 so we'll expand on expansion of 5 we get just one node which is 9 so we add it to our open and we calculate its cost cost of travel up to 5 is 1 and edge cost from 5 to 9 is 1 so it is 2 then we go to step 2 step 2 says fail we cannot do so because our open is not empty so this time we'll select the minimum cost successor now we have two minimum cost successors so we'll give the preference to the one which came first so we take it out from open and we put it in close and our new n is 2 next step says that terminate with success we cannot do so because our 2 is not our goal node so we'll expand 2 on expansion of 2 we get 6 and 3 since neither of them is part of open or close we'll simply calculate their cost so cost incurred while traveling up to 2 is 2 and from 2 to 3 is 1 so the total cost of 3 is 3 similarly the total cost of 6 is 5 next step says go to step 2 step 2 says fail we cannot do so because open is not empty so what we'll do we'll select so the, we'll select the minimum cost successor now the minimum cost successor is 2 so we'll select 2 from open and we put it in close next step says terminate with success we cannot do so because 9 is not our goal node so we cannot terminate with success so we'll expand 9 on expansion of 9 we get 10 so since 10 is also not part of either open or close we'll simply add 10 and we'll calculate its cost so the previous cost of up till 9 was 2 and the edge cost from 9 to 10 is 8 so 10 comes in with the cost 10 so 10 comes in with the cost 10 and uh, we'll go to step 2 step 2 says fail we cannot terminate with failure because our open is not empty so we'll select the minimum cost successor so now the minimum cost successor is 3 so we'll select 3 from open we'll put it in close and uh, we'll make it our new n next step says terminate with success since our 3 does not belong to the goal node we cannot terminate with success so what we'll do we'll expand 3 on expansion of 3 we get 4 so we'll add 4 into our open and we'll calculate the cost of 4 the cost of 4 is the cost incurred while up to 3 which is 3 and the edge cost from 3 to 4 which is 2 so 3 plus 2 is 5 so 4 comes in with the cost 5 then we go to step 2 step 2 says fail we cannot terminate with failure so we'll select a new successor so the new successor this time is 6 because we have two successors with the same cost but 6 came first we'll select 6 so 6 is our new minimum cost successor now 6 is not our goal node so we cannot terminate with success so what we'll do we'll expand 6 and we'll explore the successors of 6 so the successors of 6 are 10 5 and 7 now 10 is already part of either open or close 5 is already part of either open or close so first add 7 and the cost of 7 is the cost incurred while traveling up to 6 plus the edge cost from 6 to 7 so this is 6 next we have 5 now 5 is already part of either open or close so we cannot directly add it we'll check what is the previous cost of 5 was so the previous cost of 5 was 1 what is the new cost of 5 the new cost of 5 is the cost incurred while traveling up to 6 which is 5 plus the edge cost from 6 to 5 which is 10 5 plus 5 10 so the cost of incurred while traveling from 6 to 5 is 10 the previous cost was minimum so we'll keep it since it is already part of close we'll do nothing and we'll move to 10 now 10 has come with the cost of 10 the new cost of 10 is from via 6 is 5 plus 4 which is 9 which is lesser so we'll update this cost now since our 10 has decreased we'll check whether it's part of close it is already part of open so we'll do nothing we'll go to step 2 step 2 says fail we cannot terminate with failure so what we'll do we'll select a minimum cost successor now the minimum cost successor is 4 because it has the minimum cost and we'll take it out from open and we'll put it in close next we'll check if this n is our goal node since this n is not our goal node we'll move to next step we'll generate the successors of n the successors of n are just 1 8 since 8 is not part of either open or close we'll simply add it and we'll calculate its cost it is 5 plus 1 which is 6 next we'll go to step 2 step 2 says fail we cannot fail because open is not empty so we'll select a new n this time the new n is 7 with the cost 6 and 
and uh, we'll have n now the next step says success since our n does not belong to g we cannot terminate with success so what we'll do we'll expand n on expansion of n we'll get just one node which is 11 since 11 is also not part of open or close so we'll add 11 and we'll check its cost so the cost up till 7 is 6 plus 10 the 11 comes in with the cost 16 next we'll go to step 2 step 2 says fail we cannot do that so we'll select a minimum cost successor this time the minimum cost successor is 8 so we'll take it out from open and we'll put it in close and we'll make it a new n next step says terminate with success since our 8 is not a goal node so we'll generate the successors of 8 successors of 8 are 7 and 12 since 12 is not part of open or close so let's first add 12 and add its cost its cost is 6 plus 15 which is 21 and 7 is already part of open or close so we'll check whether the current cost which is 6 or the new cost is minimum so the new cost is 6 plus 5 which is 11 and the previous cost was 6 since the previous cost was lesser so we'll do nothing we'll go to the next step next step says go to step 2 step 2 says terminate with failure so we cannot terminate with failure we'll select the new minimum cost successor so now 10 comes in as a minimum cost successor so we'll select 10 and uh, uh, we make it our new n next since our n does not belong to the goal node we cannot terminate with success so what we'll do we'll generate the successors of 10 successors of 10 are 11 is only one 11 since we already have 11 we'll check whether the previous cost was lesser or the new cost is lesser the previous cost is 16 the new cost is 9 plus 3 12 since the new cost is lesser we'll update this cost and we'll go to step 2 step 2 says fail we cannot do that so we'll select the minimum cost the next minimum cost successor which is 11 so we put 11 in close and we make 11 a new n minimum cost successor n. next step says that if your n belongs to goal node then terminate with success we cannot do that so what we'll do we'll explore the successors of n the successors of n is just 112 since 12 is already part of open and close we cannot simply add it with the cost we'll check whether the previous cost is lesser or the new cost is lesser the previous cost is 21 and the new cost is 12 plus 1 13 so the new cost is lesser so we'll update it and we'll go to step 2 step 2 says fail we cannot do that because open is still not empty so what we'll do we'll select a minimum cost successor this time we'll select 12 from open and we'll add it in close and we'll make it our new minimum cost successor n in the next step we have n belongs to our goal node since n belongs to our goal node we'll terminate with success and this is how this search will end